Hey everyone, how about we head to Texas today where we have a new judge and a dad who decided to move to Hawaii to start a new life with his girlfriend and he hasn't filed taxes in three years and he has no idea how he's going to get his W-2s from his employers back in the States. I mean, that's like on the other side of the world now. Oh my gosh, what's he going to do? Let's go to court. After announcing yourself, sir. Yes, Your Honor, this is Maz Asif uh, for the state of Texas. Um, we're here today on the state's suit for modification of support order and motion to confirm support arrearage. Uh, before we get started into terms, I want to discuss the matter of arrears. Uh, the state has submitted to this court the financial activity report for this case. Um, and the state Did you position... send it by uh, email? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'm not there yet, but when I need to uh, review it, I will take judicial notice that you sent me the pay record if you want me to review it. You might have to screen share it as the quickest way. Um, otherwise, I have to stop and open my email and go look at it myself. Uh, yes, anyway, go ahead. So the state will be asking for a judgment. The state is requesting a judgment on arrears as of August 31st, 2024 of $7,298.71 to be repaid at a rate of $91 a month with payments to begin on October 1st, 2024. Uh, Mr. Akko it, uh, is not in agreement. He feels um, he should not have to pay this, uh, this amount. Um, Ms. Garcia has issues with the judgment date. She wants a judgment date um, as of September 1st. Okay, um, now with respect to the medical- now, why, why would that matter at all? Do you have any idea, Ms. Jesse? I'm not, I'm not sure, Your Honor. Uh, um, excuse me. Um, okay. Ms. Garcia, uh, you don't get to dictate what we do here as far as dates and what have you. You don't lose one single penny, whether I do it August 31st or September 1st. September 1st has a new accrual amount, which is, yeah, might be due if it's due on the 1st, but it's not considered delinquent till the 30th or 31st. And at the end of the month, the interest accrues. So we go to August 31st. They put it on their computer. You haven't lost a penny because September 1st, they'll put the new amounts and it keeps rolling. The computer keeps track of all of that uh, and with interest at the end of every month if there's arrears. So I, I, I'm not sure why we're going to have a fight about that, but I just want you to be aware of what the situation is before I cut you off on that because it doesn't matter what you want and it, you don't lose a penny. So, um, Ms. Asif, Ms. Mr. Asif, go ahead and finish your opening. Uh, yes, Your Honor. So with respect to the medical support issue, um, Ms. Gar both Ms. Garcia and Mr. Akko would like the child to be on their uh, health and dental insurance. Ms. Garcia is requesting um, that the child be on her dental insurance and then Mr. Akko be ordered to pay cash medical support of $792.08. As well okay, as what? cash medical support of how much? Uh, $792.08, Your Honor. Is that anywhere near the 9% cap or above it? Um, the states understand. Mr. Akko's, uh, Mr. Akko's position is his gross monthly resources are $3,648 before tax. Um, based off of that, uh, the 9%. Uh, the max we, if, if that is true, the max we'd be able to charge for cash medical support would be three hundred and twenty-eight dollars and thirty-two cents. So there's a dispute about his income, according to. Uh, yes, Your Honor, there, there is a dispute. And is there going to be any real evidence on that, or is it just going to be that he said she said? Um, I believe Mr. Akko has a pay stub that he he's submitting to the court. And what does Miss Garcia have? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure, Your Honor. Are you prepared to show any evidence of whatever you think he earns, ma'am? Or is it just... Am I prepared to show? I I know absolutely nothing about what he makes. But what I do know is that he has 30 years in a field where he is more than capable of making what he was previously making, if not more. Okay. Okay. So for him to go and take a job that's less paying than what he was previously making, how is that fair? Okay, so you're going to be alleging that he's underemployed because somewhere along the line there is proof that he made more? Is that what you're saying? Honestly, I, I have every reason to believe that he was working two jobs last time we were actually in court. This isn't going to be no 45-minute case, people. Um, and uh, Mr. Akko, if I do agree yes. with you, if I tell, if Ms. Garcia prevails and you have the right of appeal, will you be appealing my decision to a higher court? 
the district court level? Yep. Ms. Garcia, if I don't rule your way and Mr. Ako prevails, will you be appealing to a higher court to the district? Well, I'm not giving in because I'm the one that has been doing everything that a parent should be doing. Okay. Then that's your right and that's your obligation and advocacy. But it seems to me it'd be a waste of my time today to give you 45 minutes, cut you short, and you don't get to tell all of it. And then you lose. One of you is going to lose. And then you're going to appeal me anyway. Um, I'm not sure I want to hear it. Mr. Asif, is there any reason I shouldn't refer it to district court? Because these folks, I believe, if they've been here several times, it's not over with whatever I decide to do today, it looks like. So um, they're adequate advocates for themselves. I don't see why uh, they can't sure. just take it to the district court level and let somebody up there. Uh, yeah, Your Honor, the state has no position on that. Um, we, we, we're we not in favor, nor do we object to uh, a referral to the district court. You know, I usually don't send pro se's over there, but if this is that that contested and that, um, what's the word? Um, well, Your Honor, uh, if I may, perhaps we could get some temporary orders prior to the referral. We don't even have temporary orders yet. Uh, we, we do have, have temporary, temporary orders, in orders place, in uh, place. but perhaps we can amend the terms uh, to reflect the current situation before uh, referring upwards. Well, I would consider that if we can squeeze it in in the next 40 minutes. Okay. But for a final, I would refer it. Uh, I'm not hearing this dispute with the, the right of appeal where y'all are going to go somewhere else anyway. So I'll let you go there and have one bite at the apple for the final order. Okay. Proceed on whatever issues I need to decide on the temporary orders, Mr. Asif. Um, Your Honor, there's also some complications here. Um, it's my understanding that Mr. Akko lives in Hawaii. Uh, he won't be able to remotely appear in district court in Hayes County. So uh, that might be somewhat problematic if uh, we refer to district court. Also, I'm not convinced that the issues are sufficiently complex. That um, We have some dispute over income, but um, uh, we can subpoena Mr. Akko's uh, pay stubs and W-2 forms and you know get to the bottom of that issue. Um, I'm thinking a reset with, reset with a priority hearing would be more appropriate. I would agree with you at this late hour. Um, did you all get that? So on that so level, y'all. Let me start with you, Mr. Rocco. Did you get that? On that uh, yes. But on that level, if I'm making a certain amount that I'm making with my new employer, am I still responsible to pay that $915 a month, which I don't make as much as I did at Whole Foods? Well, that's the question. The problem is, is that if you have a history of prior employment at a higher level, why should it go down if uh, the argument would be you're underemployed? So I'd have to hear not, the it, it, it has only gone down by six dollars per hour. It hasn't gone down drastically. I make twenty two fifteen an hour, and at Whole Foods I make twenty nine dollars an hour. So it's only went down six seven dollars. It hasn't gone down drastically on my pay. Well, I haven't done the math, so I don't know how much seven dollars, roughly uh, seven fifteen, despair difference would result in child support, because it adds up forty hours a week for four point three weeks per month. So I don't know, sir. So Ms. Garcia, and, are you and, saying one or the other is the right number, or is those are both totally off because he does something else that you think he should be doing at this time? Whenever he has, whenever he has a trade in a certain career, or we were together for. 22 years and he was doing that even before we met each other he's been doing it ever since we've been divorced so you're looking at about 30 years in in this field there's to be no reason why he cannot continue doing what he's doing making what he was making so what at level are you talking about how much an hour or what's the the math i don't know what he i honestly i don't know what he was making well, I'll, I'll show what, you all that. Hold on. What order are we trying to modify, Mr. Asif, uh, the relevant time period from the last order to now and the changed circumstances? Yes, Your Honor. So the temporary order, um, so there's a temporary order in, in place in this case. Um, let me just draw the exact dates for you. So we have a temporary order on this modification action that's titled um, uh, from, that was signed by this court on February 1st, 2024. My apologies, February 12th, 2024. Uh, it's called the temporary order in suit for modification of support order and to confirm support of rearage. Well, that's okay, but that's still part of this lawsuit, which we're trying to modify what order, the final uh, order prior to yes. the order? So the order prior is the 
divorce decree. The order prior to that is the divorce divorce decree that was um, the agreed final degree of divorce. Uh, I'm reading it now. It states uh, that the court held uh, this case on June 18th, 2021. So that's the one we're trying to modify the divorce of 2021. And uh, they don't have findings about income in that one. Um, I'm reading it right now, Your Honor. I assume it's a Hayes County divorce or no? Uh, yes, this was this was in Hayes County. OK. May I say something? You may as well. What, ma'am? Whenever the last time that we were seeing in your court, you guys had came up with a monthly amount of nine hundred and fifteen dollars. And then the medical portion, you were stating that if he was to pay my for like what if I was to continue to keep them on my insurance, it was close to five hundred dollars that he would have been paying. Because you guys was not going to allow him to make that full payment for the medical and dental it's expense. Yeah, so it's the family code that sets the parameters, ma'am. So we try to apply the law because that's our jobs. The state has a position, ma'am may or may not agree with it. You have a position, I may or may not agree with it. But uh, there is a cap on on how much is considered reasonable. Because you can go get the Cadillac of insurance and ask for $1,000 a month, but if the uh, income is not there to support it as far as his income and the 9% gross of his income. That, that's what I'm required to follow. So just so you're aware of that. So what were you trying to, what was your point of the temporary order? What was pretty much set with the last court order, the, the, the temporary order, I'm yeah. asking that that stays in place. 915 in child support and 500 in medical support? Is that what you yes. just said? Is that the case in that temporary order, Mr. Uh Yeah, uh, those are the terms of the temporary order. That's correct. Oh, and so it's Mr. Ako that wants something, some relief, whether it's temporary or final. And is he it the does. one that's missing the documentation that you said we still need? Any, you don't have W-2s or prior income from I, since I, the divorce? I, uh, not from his current employer, Your Honor. Not from his what? Not from his uh, current employer, Your Honor. We don't have anything with respect to that. Well, it seems to me she's I, I just, that he's in, he's underemployed. So all the income since the divorce is oh, necessary to to determine if he had a higher income and then is underemployed or not. But you wouldn't. And have, also, Your Honor, we're, we're in. You, Mr. Ross, if you wouldn't have the W twos or or tax returns um, from twenty what year was it? Twenty twenty one, mid twenty twenty one forward. I'm um, reviewing our, our records, Your Honor. I don't believe we have. Um, oh, I see we have some pay stubs from 2023. But you don't have. Is there a reason there's no tax returns been brought by Mr. Rocco? Uh, I'm not. Oh, here we go. OK, Your Honor, I, I, I see a W-2. OK, I see a W-2 for the year of 2023. For Mr. Rocco. 2022 and 2020. So I have the W two for twenty twenty three, as well as the, um, as well as a pay stub from Aug uh, dated August twenty fifth, twenty twenty three. But we don't have a W two tax return for twenty twenty two. Uh, not for twenty twenty two, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. What do you want to say, Mr. Rocco, before I rudely interrupted you? So the pay. No, I'm sorry, Your Honor. The pay from California and Texas is different than the pay here in Hawaii. So the pay for a meat cutter, I was making good money because I was my job title was a meat manager. And if there's no opportunity for a meat manager and the pay is different from California and Texas to Hawaii, the pay is a lot lower here in Hawaii. And there's not that much openings and opportunity for me to be a meat manager considering there's like a million people on an island so for me to go get um, a meat cutter job, the pay is, is a, it's not going to be the same as the mainland. And what I was making in the mainland in Texas and, and California was our wages as a meat manager, not a meat cutter. And honestly, what I'm, paying, what I'm making now, 2215, is about the average as a meat cutter. 
And why did you, here all find out? Why'd you move to Hawaii? Hawaii? What was required that you had to leave the mainland to go back to Hawaii? Why did I go back to Hawaii to start a new life in Hawaii? Because what? Me and my... Me and my my girlfriend decided to move to Hawaii. We decided to you know, start our life in Hawaii. So we went in in Hawaii. And I can't, I I can't hear you anymore. As a, as a, as, as a, Mr. As a store director. And that didn't. I missed some of your testimony because yes, it was being staticky or garbled or something. It wasn't coming through clear i didn't so your, your question is is why did i move to, from texas to go to hawaii is because me and my girlfriend currently made a decision to move to hawaii and you knew it was going to be a lower pay rate or even the, with no, cost a, of living it, probably? It, it wasn't a lower pay rate it was a it was about the same pay rate because i went in as at that time when we moved i went as as a store director at foodland and that did not work out with store director at Foodland. And then I went on and I went to another job at Whole Foods, which I got terminated. And I got a lawsuit against them. But that's where I'm at. And then right now, Mrs. Garcia is asking me for arrears just, just to plead my case. As far as April, the, the ending of April, I had a heart attack. So April the 30th, I had an open heart surgery that was not released from my doctor, from my physician. To August the 5th, I could not go to work. I could not retain work because, like I said, on April the 30th, I had a major open heart surgery. Okay, I've heard enough complications that I don't think I'm going to be able to start and finish. I'm try trying to get to the bottom line with y'all's arguments, but it's real clear to me that one, if she wants more because she thinks you're unemployed, then we need your wage information for all those years half of 21 after the divorce, all of 22 and 23 and whatever you have through 24. I need to see that. Did you file tax returns for the last three years? No, I have not. Were you employed at a salaried position? Yes, I was. I did not file taxes. So you got W-2s? Yes. For those years? Yes. Why didn't you file for tax returns? I just didn't file. There's no excuses for me. But you can retrieve 2021 W-2, 2022 W-2, and 2023 W-2s? I think I... I can't get it right. I can't get it right now, but I can do my, my homework and get it. Um, and for 2021... But for 2024, whatever your comeback date is, you can get your last pay stub before you come back to court the, with the year-to-date information? I I told the attorney that I took a screenshot that I could send it to his phone with my screenshot, and he would have my, my current pay stub. With, for some reason, it's not going through with the email, but I took a screenshot, and I just said if you supply him, me, with his cell phone, I can, I can screenshot him my current pay stub. Uh, is there any other way to do it, Mr. O.C.? Your you? Honor, I, I, I would rather not disclose my personal cell, cell phone number. Because no. what I make is, like I said, I make 900 something dollars a month gross. After $200 taken out of taxes, my my net is only 700 and something dollars a month, a week. That's all I bring home. That is it. I mean, I don't bring them anymore. I don't I bring them in. That's what I make every single week. Okay, that's your argument for another day. Week. I'm trying to figure out how we can get the, not the screenshot, but your actual pay stub. You can't right. scan it. And I mean, email. I, can, I can try, I can try to email it again, Your Honor, but like I said, well, I, how are I you going to get the that, W-2s? How are you going to send those? I don't have the W-2s in front of me. I have the pay stub, my current pay stub in front of me. The W-2s, I got to do my homework, and I got to call all my previous employers. To 21, 22, 23, and, 20, and get all those the W-2s.
and get those documents with me. Okay. I don't have the documents right now. Not okay, well, you. whenever you get it, whenever you get, get them, you, but I don't have, have to... a copy of my current pay stub from Pepsi that that uh, that says. Whenever you get them, you do need to send but what them I'm in. Is, why should? So, but how fair is it for me to pay nine hundred fifteen dollars a month, which I'm not making? That's that for me to decide after I hear all the evidence, but I don't have all the evidence. You okay. don't have all the evidence. You don't want to come back, but I don't see how else to do it if you want me to hear it. And I don't kick you up to district court. Uh, but I, again, <laughs> we already spent, what, 30 minutes on this and uh, I've gotten nowhere closer, 22 minutes to be exact. Uh, they ha The state has a... a uh, yes, an email where you send all this stuff and you, you can't find a different device or a different way of scanning it or going to a, I don't know, a somewhere that has better. Well, I, like I said, I, I can send it again and see if it goes through again, but. Well, it's, it's too late for today. I don't need it for today. But when you send the W-2s, however you send them, you send that pay stub too, the year-to-date pay stub that's closer to the court. I, I sent. I sent all my documents certified now. I sent all my documents that you guys received as far as my doctor's note from my physician saying that when I'm supposed to go back to work, when I'm released, every other documents I'm sending to you guys is certified now, which I mailed it to you guys and you guys received it. So if I have to do the same thing with my W-2s and my pay stub, I will do that also. But right now, my, my thing is coming from is with Mrs. Garcia, I was making the same amount of money in California and Texas as a meat manager. I'm not a meat manager. There's not that much openings on the island. That okay, has you want to get to the argument the of your case, and that's not where I'm at right now. So, Mr. Asif, have you received a certified mail envelope with all this stuff, and you still have it? I assume you all don't get rid of documents, or at least not right away. So I can confirm we have his W-2 for 2023. I can confirm that we have a pay stub from August of 2023 as well. Um, nothing, uh, as of today, uh, I believe, uh, nothing with respect to, uh, what his wages would be from his current employer. What about the medical records that he said he had, uh, doctors, something or other? Um, medical records pertaining to his heart condition. Um, I'm not certain, Your Honor. Let me take a look-see. Judge, FYI, screenshots can be emailed. Thank you. Okay, so I can email you the screenshot right now, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so well, what number is he right going to use, Mr. Asif? Because, uh, well, email, that's right. The CSD legal one? Uh, that would I'm be the right yes. Hold on, moment, man. No, don't what, take your time doing that? it. I'm going to set and give a different court date. I don't need it today. I need the one closer to another one. Do you have that one? Send it. Fine, but not right now. That's going to take too much time. Uh, Mr. Asif, did you find medical records? Uh, pertaining to his condition? No, Your Honor. I'm, I'm looking through our records as we speak. I sent you guys certified mail and you guys received it because you guys signed for it. Stating that when I'm released, when was my surgery from Dr. Nakamura? When um, did you do that? What day did you send it? Do you remember? I sent it, man, I, I don't remember. I sent that maybe maybe a month ago. I sent it with the documents that I had to fill out stating that, you know what I mean? Or the what um it was a document from the court that it was two pages that I had to fill out and send it back to you guys which i did that and also i i put in a copy of my paper from the physician saying that when and when i went in for surgery and what is my release date i sent in a copy of my unemployment which i applied for then got denied for it i sent you guys a copy of that two pieces of paper from you guys and somebody signed for it at the courthouse because <laughs> or at the child support office because they are sending certified mail Okay, when you say courthouse, you want, I and you said you send it my, my, to the AG, those no, are two different places. I'm Mr. sorry. I, I, I send it to the child support office, and they have it. 
Okay, Somebody they're not the court. They're not the courthouse. Court. They have a different address. Okay. That's where you send it to their mailing address. Okay. You got to separate yes. us. They're not the same place. Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Asif, you're looking and looking. You still haven't found it. Okay. Uh, no, Your Honor. I'm still looking. Uh, well, I can't wait for that either, but it would be important. Ms. Garcia, are you disputing that he even had a heart attack or open heart surgery? Is that going to be? No, he had a heart attack, but just because he had a heart attack doesn't mean that his kids need to stop. You know, no, it's going no, on, it's but going it does on mean that he might not have had that. income for a period of time. So do you, okay, then you what's need the, to see those medical excuse? records or not, Ms. Garcia, to believe what anything? You need to see those medical records? For the heart attack? Yes, ma'am. I would like to see when he was actually released, to be honest with you. Well, I would assume that would be a part of it. Mr. Rocco, is that uh, you would have sent it after your hospitalization and it would have said what day you were released on? And the documents that I sent to the court. To the, the AG's the office, not the courts. Judge. No, I'm sorry. The, the documents that I sent to the child support office specifically states what day I got operated on, what day, April the 3rd, 30th, that got, I got operated on. And it says specifically on August the 5th when I'm released to go back to work. That's, That's what a it different says data. on the documents. A but data is released from the hospital. Is that part of the information that you sent? I assume so. That you didn't send it the, from a line in a hospital bed, did you? I mean, you waited till you got out, no. and the records that you got would have had your discharge date. That's what she's asking for. Is that in there? Not the this. The only documents that I sent to the child support office because she did not ask me for the information. The, the piece of paper that I sent to the child support office. Specifically states is when did I get operated on April the 30th and what day am I released to go back to work from the position? There's an intervening date of no longer being in a hospital bed or in a hospital. And that would have been a discharge date from the hospital, I, I stated, not just I a release date to go back to work. That should be part of your medical records. Are you saying it's just not? It skips it, from... Your heart, your heart uh, surgery up to your release to work. The, the reason, the reason why I send her the dates that me I'm I'm still not released from the doctor is because she's asking me for the arrears. That's what I. That's the that's the document. Look, I, I get that. But one hospital. of the issues too is what date were you out of the hospital, and you don't can't tell me I, if you know that date or not. Do you understand? I I, 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 you I, I I was in the hospital. I had surgery on April the thirty. I was released. Five days later. You were only in the hospital, hospital five, five days. Five days. Okay. five days later, I was released to the hospital. Okay, I'll you're under oath hospital. and you're on the record. So write that down, Ms. Garcia or State. Um, okay, Mr. Asif, no, nothing? You didn't find the rec medical records? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, we may have it, but um, I I'm okay. not certain. Um, okay, well then help me pick a date to come back because uh, it's already 420 and I'm not... It's clear, and you need more time than we've got today. Uh, yes, Your Honor. We have availability on, on, on our October 10th court date at 830. Is there any reason y'all can't come back? At, and they have to be a priority, not at the end of the day, the It'll first a, thing. Yes, I'm Your Honor. Not gonna I'll, do I'll, again. Uh, I'll be sure to include in the reset order. It will be a priority hearing. Then it should be, a, well, it says 8.30 for y'all to come in. And if you need to share records at that point or whatever else or talk for a minute, you can do that. But I show up at 9 o'clock to start a hearing. Well, actually, I'm here before then, but I won't start hearings till 9 o'clock when they're done with the... Does that work in Hawaiian time? Um, no, because it's five, it's five hours be behind you guys. So it'll be, if it's 8.30, it would be at <coughs> 3 o'clock in the morning. We could do uh, 10 a.m. as well. Um, our only docket times would be 8.30 and, and 10 a.m. Central Time. So 10.30, our time would be what time is time? 5 o'clock? 5.30. Uh, Your Honor, it would, be, it would be 10 a.m. exactly. Well, that would make if it 5 o'clock If it's 10.30 on you guys' time, it's 5.30 on our time. It's five hours behind. When did they show up today, Mr. Ossi, Mr. Yako? I, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to court. And that's what time I woke up this morning to go to court. So if I say 1 o'clock, that would be what time? 8? Eight, eight, eight? 7. No, 8. 8. 
8 o'clock your time, there's no reason you can't be up and on the computer by 8 a.m., correct? Yes, correct. Okay, then it'll be October 10th, in a few weeks, on a Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. as a priority. And that would not, give me enough time to hear it and hopefully get from, rid of other cases before y'all show up. So from your my, my knowledge, Your Honor, what kind of documents you need from me when I show up to court on, eight, on, on the next month in October? Well, we've been talking about, do I have to repeat W-2s for 2021, 2022? They said they have 2023, but if I were you, I'd send it again in case something happens to it. Um, but three years worth, that would be the three years subsequent to the, after the divorce and the ones that you would have W-2s for, for. So on that knowledge, Your Honor, I'm in Hawaii and the jobs that I worked at to attain the W-2s is all the way in California. And like I said, I would have to call the the places that I work at to arrange them to send me a W-2s and arrange a copy of the W-2s. You know who has your W-2s? The IRS, and you should have filed tax return. Uh, but they they report, they send W-2s to the IRS. I don't know if you can get it from them, uh, but it's on you to try to find them. And that's why you're supposed to file taxes. If you want me to consider your income. I don't know how you prove it and talk to somebody, but... All I can tell you is if you have W-2s, you need to try to get them. They only have one so far. And then for this year, there is no W-2. You have to work till the end of the year, and you won't get the W-2 till January next year. So for this year, your year-to-date pay stub, as close to the court date as possible, you you email it. So my, my question to you is I want to know the, the logical behind it of 2021, 22, 23, when the bottom line is that that's all wages – because the last order that was entered that I'm trying to modify is the divorce decree from 2021. And what's relevant is all the time period since then. She's alleging you were making higher wages then and that you're underemployed now. Yes, I would have to see the higher wages. I'm not going to take her word for it and and or your word for it. I want to see what you actually made. And then for the the pay stub helps me go through all the way to the court date so I can see the obviously the lesser income now, but I have to buy into your argument that you had to move to Hawaii, you went under underemployed and it wasn't, or that you weren't underemployed and that you, uh, I don't know what your reason is, but why you're not at the same job you were and maybe your heart attack has something to do with it. I don't know. I've got to hear everything you present and you need to have backup for everything you present because I'm tired of this he says, she says that y'all don't know really know what you're talking about. And I, I don't have any records. I'm just tired of it. And this case has been here long enough to where I think you should. You need to provide documents, Mr. Ako. It's your income. Ms. Garcia, if you have anything else you can find, because if he doesn't show up with it, I'm not I creating it. Income. I can't get it for you. I am not your investigator. I'm your judge. But you have to you have to provide evidence, not me for you. I don't have access I, I, to anything. Your Honor, no, 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 nobody told me at the last hearing that we was on her that I got to supply W-2s from 2000. Well, I'm telling you now because it's a con big contested issue. And before I, you all appeal me to another court, I want them to know I did my homework, that I required it, that I got to look at it, or whatever reason you may have is not available, that at least I forced you to try to bring it because I'm not doing my job if I just say, okay, I'll take your word for it. No, I'm not. And Ms. Garcia, you're alleging something. I don't know if you can prove it or not if he doesn't, but on the other hand, uh, it's your case to try to prove why he's underemployed too. And so- Understood. Understood. Okay. Then I'm not repeating myself. Uh, uh, and if you want me to consider your medical records and they don't have them, then I think you need to send them again, including your discharge date, or I assume nobody's going to dispute that he was only in the hospital five days anyway, if it doesn't show up on a piece of paper. So, Mr. Asif, I'll ask your office, and I don't know what you do with all those things that are emailed to you where they go, but I assume you don't dispose of them till the cases are over. So I'm hoping it's somewhere that you just can't access right now, but it's some screen somewhere that you can find. Uh, mm -hmm. But talk to the AG. If they don't find it, then, yeah, send it again. I'm sorry, but that's the, it's cheaper than trying to fly over here to go to district court. If you want me to hear it, I need some evidence. Um, is there anything as else? As far as a temporary order. Yes, ma'am. I'm not as changing as anything. I don't have time to hear yeah. it anymore to change it. So it still goes on. However, Ms. Garcia, uh, well, was it, I heard, was it a contested hearing on the temporary order or was y'all agreed to it? Uh, 
It was, it was a contested every, hearing, Your Honor. It was. I don't even remember it, but okay, fine. I'll look for my records too. Um, I'm just asking anything that else, it stays Mr. Asif, you, right hand, now. you had your hand up, Mr. Asif. What else? Uh, did your I Honor, yes. Me? May I um, may I retrieve my charger so I can charge my device? Your what? May I retrieve my charger, Your Honor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you don't get dismissed? Yes. Thank you. Judge, I'll update you with results. I got to go. Yeah, either tell me tomorrow or email. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah that would be fine. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez. I'm sorry. No problem. It's not an issue. Now, Your Honor, if, if I have to consult an attorney, how Please does that Please do. That would help me if the lawyer... So I... What's the so question? Can we extend this court, court did a little further for me to pay for an attorney and retain an attorney? Because I, I I was I consulted <laughs> with an attorney and then he said that if it goes more than what it's supposed to go and, and I'm under you know pressure to get whatever I need to get, that he would he'll be able to consult with him more. Well, it doesn't bother me to set it later, so y'all are better prepared and have a lawyer. Uh, but, and it shouldn't bother you, Ms. Garcia, if you've got a temporary order in place that's not being changed. Uh, so is if he has the money to consult with an attorney and hire an attorney, why is he having trouble paying his child support? That's not the issue before me. The issue before me is I've, if he can get a lawyer, I'd prefer him to get a lawyer to present ev actual evidence instead of him trying to flounder around and me trying to guess what's real the truth is. So Okay, um, so he's stalling right now. So I, I, I'm asking to keep the October 10th date because I have... Sense open enrollments and whatnot coming up and it's starting in the end of October through December. A court order trumps the open enrollment. If there's a court order and it orders something, then that's a qualifying I'm event to one, start. I'm the only one that's supporting our kids right now. I get that, Ms. Garcia, but I'm telling you a, a court order is a qualifying event. Even if you miss open enrollment, you can still. Whenever you oversee change. an entire agency, uh, th that's, that's my role. So that's why I'm, October 10th, I have nothing going on that week but preparing, so that's doable. How likely you get a lawyer just uh, just take more time to get back here, Mr. Rocco, if, without a lawyer? Well, I just need to verify to get, I just want to get as much information that I'm going that, you know what I mean, that and take the, the consideration that I was in open heart surgery, that I could not work, that I could not, I was not released from the doctor. It's not, it's one thing that I was not, re, I, I was released from the doctor, but I was not released from the doctor. And that's why I, I sent the document to the child support office because I want them to know it. Dude, from April the, April the 30th to August the 5th, I was not able to go back to work from the, from the physician's, standpoint i was not released from the doctor to go back to work so on that okay. note is why am i liable to pay my back my child support your 45 minutes are up i'm leaving and mr asif do you have another recommended date i'm going to move it from october 10th if he can get a lawyer i want him to and i'm, I'm not talking about december or november uh or maybe mid-november at the latest uh yes your honor let me just uh your Honor, up, uh, may I ask, why do you guys keep on giving him chance after chance? This isn't the first time that he's done this. Ms. Garcia, you didn't... This is not the day to hear this, this is, case at 4.30 in the afternoon already. I'm very well, sorry. I understand that, but whenever you've dealt with a child going through cancer, you've dealt with a kid that was attacked by a dog <coughs> upon other health issues and whatnot, and I've been stuck to... Do so you think do today right now I would have raised your child support and raised your medical support? Do you really think I would have do that, do that today? Yeah, on, but what on I'm saying case? is that even the lack of support that he's been doing and I haven't been receiving, this isn't the, the, this isn't the first time. This is not for payments. He's. I'm going to order how much is the right amount if this is the temporary order isn't right so <laughs> this is not about him paying or not paying he's still required to do that under any order this is about getting it right now and you all are both arguing two extremes and i don't have enough except your word right now and that's why i'm requiring more evidence and if i give more time for better evidence it would be in your interest if you can bring uh or he can't produce the records and you can versus the other way around. So I'm sorry. I've got to do what I've got to do, whether you like it or not. And right now I'm done. Mr. Asif, was there another date way before uh, December? Yes, Your Honor. Um I I so I, I 
got logged out of my or of my organization's VPN. May I retrieve my cellular device so I can log sure. back in and retrieve the list of court dates? Yes, sir. Sure. Your Honor. Okay, um, we have availability on November 14th. They're all Thursdays. Uh, that's when I hear Hayes cases for the party's information. Uh, and I could do the same thing at one o'clock as a priority, Mr. Uh, we can't do 1 p.m., Your Honor. Our, like The only times we have available are 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. or 10 or 10.30 a.m. No, that's because I set those times for my calendar, but I'm telling you, I want it at one o'clock so he can show up without having to wake up at five in the morning. Nobody else is asked to do that. And so that he's, uh, I guess, hopefully clear headed and that we start because we finished the morning docket. So I don't care what your computer says or what anybody else says. my docket. I'm setting it as a priority at one o'clock. And yes, I got the order to say that. And for y'all to be ready to go, don't negotiate two hours or three hours or five hours. I need to have it ready to go. And y'all prepared, everybody prepared at one o'clock on November 14th. And hopefully I will be done with the all the other settings prior to that. Um, all right. So I would like to confirm that 915 is going to stand as well as the amount for the, the medical expenses. I didn't touch the temporary order. I'm not changing it today. So right now it does continue under the last order, which is that's the temporary order. Then yes, ma'am, it does continue. Okay. Can I please make sure that the amount for the medical is included on top of that, please? Mr. Asif, what, I don't know what the order says. I haven't read it. She's told me what she thinks it says. Are you confirming this, what she just said? The um, Your Honor, if, if Mr. Garcia's position is for the, the terms of the temporary order to remain in place, I mean, that is precisely what's going to happen if you reset this. Well, order. I don't agree with that. What what happens if I don't agree with that? I'm because resetting this so you can bring in evidence even if you don't agree with it because I'm not hearing it right now. It's too late to hear it. I'll be here till 10 o'clock tonight if I open the door to this so, or even 8 o'clock. I'm not doing it. I've already had a very long so day how, how, and I'm very how, not not I'm not able to, to go forward. Then you know what? Let's just keep the October date because I'm, I'm not going to pay 900 something dollars a month. Which I'm on, not okay, then the you do your homework. You get a lawyer as quick as you can if you're going to do that, and you get your W twos, and then we'll be ready to go October 10th at okay. one o'clock. That's fine. And I'm not going to repeat the order because I don't have the order. So I whatever it says, it's a temporary order, ma'am. It's signed. It's on the record. It continues. I don't know what more you need to hear from me. Well, I'm here's the, here's exactly the here's the Here's Man. the deal, because what <clears throat> happened was with the, with the medical is that he was refusing to pay the well the amount well the I'm amount not, that you guys had ordered. Ma'am, I reset it. Nothing well, else here, you can say is going to change the order that's already it, in effect. Oh my god! If you let me finish, please, because what we did is that we took the girls off of my insurance that they had been on that I had been paying for previously because he was not going to pay the amount that was being asked for and he was able to get it cheaper through his employer which was fine but he can't hold down a job to keep the girls on insurance i'll hear it october 10th i can't change it today just like you don't want me to change the child support and he wants to change i can't change it either way i didn't finish hearing the evidence i'm not going to finish hearing the evidence i need to hear it on october 10th i'll leave the original okay, can you put something in there at least four hundred dollars for the medical expenses for right now to be included because right now it's eight hundred and something i can't dollars. change the order without having a full-blown hearing what part have you not understood miss garcia i'm not going forward right now so you get to keep the higher child support, then it gets to stay with whatever insurance is said. I haven't modified it yet. I haven't heard the evidence to modify it yet. I'm resetting this. That's all I'm doing is resetting it. So what's in effect is in effect, and I'll hear it October 10th at 1 o'clock. That's what I can tell you. Anything else, Mr. Asif? Um, Your Honor, I'm requesting that we we hold the hearing at one of our, at either 8.30 or 10.30 a.m. Uh, Mr. Aka was the one who chose to move to Hawaii, knowing that he could possibly be in court for this. So uh, I feel as if... Um, that would not be proper to have at 1 p.m. Why not? Uh, Mr. Akko was the one who chose to move to Hawaii, knowing that he, he had a court date 
I'm talking uh, about my docket, Mr. Asif. Yes, Your Honor. Cases um, earlier with YB20 cases. I got to get those done before I talk to these people. Yes, Your Honor. If I talk to these people at 8.30 or 10.30, then I'm postponing 20 other cases. I can't do that either. This is my setting at one o'clock. I don't care that he's in Hawaii. I'm going to let him sleep like everybody else gets to. Uh, yes, it's going to stay at one o'clock whether the state objects or not. Anything else? No, Your Honor. I'm done. Bye. Uh, Y'all check out and we'll see you October 10th at one o'clock. You have any questions, you call the AG. You cannot call the court. And, uh, and that was October, both October of you. 10th, Your Honor? What? Just to clarify the date, that was October 10th, Your Honor? Yes, sir. October 10th at one o'clock. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. The parties have exited the virtual courtroom. That concludes this hearing. I'll stop my recordings. Thank you.